Welcome my friends back for a new video on Honeydew Farms Excel in FS19. I'm starting this episode by fast forwarding the time. That's because in the last episode we finished, well, we harvested two of our fields. Then we fed up our animals. Now the only thing that's remaining to do is to fast forward the time and wait until they make a little love and multiply. For those who probably haven't watched uh, the last video, now I have four pigsties and as opposed to two as I had previously and one large cow pastor which um, considering has more and more cows with each day passed I um, have to feed more and more feed for my cows and it's becoming more and more tedious because there's lots of them Now I'm planning to sell some of my milks. Milk. Um, it's a shame that uh, milk is loading quite slow. For some reason, I wasn't able to increase the speed of milk loading. Yeah, but in the meantime, I have enough pigs to sell a bunch of them and by a batch I mean 200 heads, big heads from each of my pigsties. So yeah, and this delivery should give me uh, 800,000. So 1,000 for each pig for a total of 800,000. And now even though my semi-trailer, well semi-truck I should say, and my animal trailer are at tier 5 and they can hold 200 pigs, I still have to make 4 trips to the animal dealer. It's a nice that you, you watch it uh, sped up to 600%. And I hope at the end of this delivery I'll have enough money. Yeah, I definitely should have enough money to buy my next field. This one on the left. Which unfortunately is also with grass on it. This is the glitch that I got on this map. All, um, all the fields now have grass on them. So yeah, I buy them. But I'm buying them just for expansion not because they have a useful crop on them. Okay, so a couple of seconds ago I bought the field and as I said, I don't need the grass on them. So that's why I um, I proceeded to uh, cultivate it right away so that I can plant uh, uh, corn on it. Yeah, I wanted to, um, to spray it with uh, lime but it looks like you can you cannot apply lime if you have a fully grown crop, which in this case is um, the grass. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna apply uh, uh, lime later. Or next time, we'll see. Why I'm planting crop on it, it's because that field, the newly bought field, doesn't require plowing. And if you haven't lived under a rock for the last uh, three months or two months, you probably know that um, in FS19 plowing your fields will increase your yield. Uh, so it's not required, but it will increase your yield so it's better to do it from time to time I decided not to do it because it's take too much time um, but each time when I when I buy a field 
and it doesn't require you know it has uh, plowing applied already I will use it to 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 grow corn and in all honesty yeah I should have probably use it to to grow some other crop and only after that use it on corn because if you plant corn if you harvest corn from a field uh, you'll you'll have to you know it will require plowing right away because usually for normal crops you only need to plow the fields once every three harvests except the corn so yeah I should have probably used it for some other crop and then for corn but yeah it's already done because it's already recorded uh, these are the last bits of straw that I had from previous uh, episode I'll tend to use it first and then to use this straw for my silos as for my second biggest field now because the newly bought one is the biggest I will also reseed it Yeah, not, not the best price for milk at the moment. Sometimes the price goes over 600 per thousand liters. Now it's not the best, but since I have time, I will deliver it anyway. I remember on FS13 I used to have a farm which had um, 10 pixies built in. So yeah, it was taking quite a quite a lot of time to you know to feed them all and also to to sell the pigs from each of those 10 pixies, but it was uh, interesting. It's nice. Back then, of, of course, we didn't have placeable, uh, you know, uh, animal pastors. So, if you were lucky to have a map with built-in uh, pigsties and uh, cow pastors, then you were lucky. If not, then not. Here, for some reason, the helper didn't want to cooperate, so I wanted to apply lime, but the helper didn't want to do it, and I wasn't in the mood to do it myself. Because when you're spreading lime, uh, you know, the width of the spreading is narrower than for a solid fertilizer for some reason. So, yeah, I'm not inclined to do it manually. Of course, again, I could have used the crossplay uh, helper, but yeah, I decided so it's not a problem. I'm going to do it next time. Okay, and here's when I tried my trick. I generated a course with uh, a working width of half of this uh, swather. 
so now it will go back and forth but each uh, pass will overlap so hopefully I will able to dry out all the grass So it looks like that's all the corn that I have. I'll try now to split it in four. Back to cow food mixing, I definitely should upgrade all my bale related stuff and my uh, mixer to make the mixing faster and more efficient. One thing which I found or find strange is the fact that when you're loading milk, you can leave the semi truck and it will continue to load. You can even detach the tanker trailer and it will still continue to load. The same stands for water, but when you unload milk and water and you try to exit the vehicle, it will stop unloading. So yeah, even though the unloading of milk is quite slow, I still I have to uh, remain in the vehicle to not interrupt uh, the unloading and the selling, obviously. So hopefully now haymaking will be easier than it used to be because swathing will be able to be done by a helper, not manually. Yeah, I repaired a little bit my tractor. Because you know, as, as your tractor is getting older, its performance will go down and the speed at which it operates will also go down. So here, here we have the, you have the uh, the reason to repair uh, your equipment from time to time. Okay, seating is finished. I can now start start forwarding and once my crops will grow one state I'll be able to refertilize them. Yeah, I will leave the, the weeds growing. I'm not inclined to do anything about them. At least the newly bought field, I I don't have to refertilize it, and I'll tell you why. Uh, as you probably know, or maybe you don't know, if you have a crop on a field and you cultivate the field, <clears throat> this will increase, or I should say, it will leave the fertilization state of the field. So, uh, 
even though you know I uh, only fertilized my field once when I uh, planted corn on it uh, but because I cultivated this uh, I cultivated it before now it has the bow fertilization states uh, applied so yeah there's that Now I'll let my hardy help my my other fertilizer to finish this field because I wanna I would like to finish as fast as possible. Although I don't think it requires many additional passes. Okay, now it's finished, which means that I can fast forward. My swathing helper still hasn't finished the job. I guess for two reasons. One, it's working with now for the course that I created is narrow, 6.5 meters. And the helper itself is not very efficient when it's turning. It's actually t taking a lot of time to turn is not helping As usual, I'm fast forwarding just to the point when my crop uh, is maturing, which it did already, which means that I should uh, uh, start my harvesting. <laughs> Finally! The grass is swathed, so I can use this structure for other, for better things. Okay, and let's start the harvesting. I'll start this time with the corn because it's on my biggest field, the newly bought one. In the meantime, it so happened that I have enough pigs for another another delivery except that I also have to assist my uh, harvesting combine so yeah I guess I'll have to do multiple things well two things at the same time deliver the pigs and also uh, unloading the combine into my semi-trailer yeah the helper stopped unexpectedly so I had to you know, to, to let it uh, start harvesting all over again
Yeah, I know. Ideally, I should have two semi trucks. You know, one for harvesting and one for uh, uh, animal delivery. Or animal transporting, of course. But yeah, I have just one semi truck and I don't think I'm gonna have money. And, um, you know, in the next uh, next couple of episodes to to buy a second uh, semi truck I'm already thinking about upgrading this one and my animal trailer so that I so that I don't have to do four deliveries each time I uh, you know I have four I have 500 pigs in each pig team This episode is quite long as you can see, it's the longest in the recent times, that's because I just couldn't, uh, you know, stop playing, I kept and kept playing, so, and also because I tried to cram as much as I can in one episode. You know, as a downside, I can only release these episodes one every other day so it's either short episodes each day or uh, longer but every other day now i can finally use a helper to apply lime on my new field which should increase the yield of next harvest Finally finished my hay loading, which should uh, the hay that I produce should suffice me for at least a couple of episodes. I hope because those cows they eat so much and produce so little, unfortunately. finish this uh, you know harvesting this cornfield this episode but if not I guess I'll, uh, I'll do it next time
you know I mix and mix and mix and still my cow food bar is not at maximum it's insanely how much food they require that's only how many 115 cows now think about how much they you know consume when I have 500 cows insane Will it fill up? Will it? No, it won't fill up. There's still more place for one more load. Yeah, and I don't think I'm gonna f finish this field now. I will next time. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as usual, consider leaving a comment in the comment section below. I thank you all for watching, I hope to see you all next time and I wish you all a great day, bye bye!